Today we're going to install the SC Sport 400 hydrofoil on our Suzuki 140. It's a drill free deal. It's supposed to be tapping real quick, so we'll see if it does. First thing you do is clean your cavitation plate with some rubbing alcohol and uh, cotton swabs. See you on the next step. So we got the pads down. How you figure the location on them, just take your hydrofoil, set it on the desired position, and look underneath wherever your nail your uh, screw holes are and put a little pencil mark on the side where your screw holes are, the side of your plate right there. And then pretty much center these to it and you want it right on the edge. If you don't want it where the radius is folding over, you want to hold her back just a touch. And that's what it should look like. I'll uh, check back with you on the next step. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but that's the setup. That's how you set up your washers. One of them has a step down in it, and you got uh, two flat washers, two different sizes. That's how it's set up. I went ahead and set that up just for the sake of the video on the hydrofoil. And I can slide that on, so the next step is going to be to pull the tape off the top of these, so the sticky pads. And we'll slide this on and get her lined up in place. I'll see you on the next step. Okay, we so we got her all set in place, lined up, getting ready to tighten her up, 716 socket. And uh, see how that goes and uh, we'll see you on the next step. Last but not least, fancy little cover goes on, covers up the bolts. Lay it down there, pull it back, snaps in place. Stainless steel screw goes in here, tighten her up, and it's a done deal. There you have it. See you out on the water. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful for you. Uh, we try to bring you content that's going to be helpful in some way or form. And until next week, Remember, whatever it is you want to do in life, you got to get after it.